That's not supposed to happen. He <laughs> fixed that quick. Uh, why the hell? Oh, I see. There we go. I accidentally put... I had to copy over the showcase uh, screen capture over to the, the pre-scene because apparently I hadn't set that up correctly. And apparently the VC face source is just above the game capture. So I should probably fix that up a bit. Just put it up a few more. <laughs> oh well. Anyways, ahoy everyone, uh, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian uh, today, along with... Basin First Major Keir, who wonders why his captain is in front of the table. Yep. Should probably, yeah, I should group that stuff together and just have it stick to the same place. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Back into position. Uh, hardly professional, but we aren't aiming to be professional. <clears throat> Aim to be entertaining, hopefully. Uh, worth a chuckle at the very least, I hope. Anyways, <laughs> welcome to Showcase Sunday number 82. Creeping closer and closer to 100, uh, where we will be showing up. Well, we will be showcasing about four games, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on how things go. Typically more. <clears throat> and yeah, we'll be showing them for about half an hour each to see if they're any good for streaming now or later. Or mostly later, because we have a bit of a schedule set up already. And uh, yeah, here in record time, Glacier Boy, though you can't be here any faster than we can. Technically, it takes us five minutes to appear, but still. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I have a good amount of games prepared. Uh, some we'll probably go short with, because they wouldn't be very interesting at all for streaming. But for now, we have Deep Sky Derelicts, which, from what my, I understand, is basically Darkest Dungeon, but in space. Let's see, the, the Stinger Cult. Uh, I'm presuming we'll get a tutorial. Let's see, we have someone with high weaponry and high scavenging. Good tech, good medical, better medical, and basically crap and anything else. Let's see, we can change their appearance. We can change their jobs. Okay, let's see. Characteristics and skill. Technicians are not the most skilled fighters, but their expertise with all things electronic makes them a valuable ally when you need your shield boosted or when you're facing killer robots. Okay. So, classes. A scrapper and a mechanic. A mechanic medic. Blech. <laughs> Won't stop you from trying. Okay. Let's see. They have a trait each. Skittish, all of them. Okay, let's hope that there's a tutorial and we'll start. Uh, there's a tutorial. Okay. Start. New game. And timer is a go. Oh dear. Welcome, Scavenger. I've been expecting you. Now, I don't need to tell you what uh, that the world is unjust. You must have... Uh, you, yeah, you must know it better than most. Being an aristocrat myself, I can only imagine the hardship you stateless must endure. That's why I'm offering you a possibility to leave that brutal life of yours behind. Okay. That sounds suspicious. Really, what is this offer? I want you to find the fabled mothership and secure it. As a reward, I offer you full galactic citizenship. Okay. Listening. Our scientists have discovered that the mothership is hidden somewhere in this sector. We have strong reasons to assume that it is filled with technological wonders beyond belief. The Triumvirate is willing to pay anything for it. Find it and I will grant you citizenship. Needless to say, you would be rewarded with a one-way ticket to an easy life on a comfortable and beautiful mirror world. Mirror world? Okay. Yeah, sounds too good to be true. Why me? And how am I supposed to find it? I hear that you're experienced in combat and know your way around the derelicts. I trust something. Start looking for leads, get into the bridge section of each derelict you go to and try to find something that could contain useful information. Anything that hasn't been corrupted by the millennia, the, those ships have drifted in space. Not every derelict necessarily provides the needed information, but with enough data from the derelicts, our resources can, well, researchers can put together the location of the mothership. Okay. Where do we start? 
I would prefer it if we, it would allow us to click through the dialogue so we can read it at our own pace. <clears throat> Consider getting some contracts from the lair to help keep your expeditions profitable and head to Shuttle Bay to depart to one of the recently discovered derelicts. Okay. How about my team? Does the offer concern them too? Yes, your entire team is granted you know, the same privileges should you find a mothership. Okay, contracts. All sorts of people have developed an interest in the derelicts. They offer contracts for scavengers to perform various assignments. Completing them will grant you credits. And credits, of course, will help you sustain yourself during the search of the mothership. As the sub-governor, my job is not to keep track of the contracts. Check the lair if you want to know more. Okay, so a bit of a... Okay, report back to me as soon as you find any information about the mothership. Prove yourself worthy and I'll grant you a broader working permit. If you've managed to find and secure the mothership, the citizenship is yours. But bear in mind that you're not the only one I've extended this offer. Qu act quickly, scavenger. Of course. Not putting all of your eggs in one basket. Yeah, uh, I really like this. It, it has... It has a bit of a... Dungeons Dungeon feel with all stuff, just a bit more sci-fi. Yeah, and... Uh, Okay, again, I would have preferred if we managed to, if we were allowed to click that away, because I didn't read anything of that. Yeah, it feels a bit oh, like yeah. a Warhammer 40k light in with the world it seems, and I, I'm pretty sure that uh, we are going to get backstabbed by that guy sooner or later. Let's see, we have medical, we have research workshop, we have a mercenary hub. This is probably where we get more people, and of course, it's a bar. Uh, pawn shop, let's see. Come on in, weapon cores, mods, gears, we got it all. Got some hot stuff you need to move quickly? No problem. Yeah, of course. Let's see, we have full energy cells, We're, that's probably for traveling. Hmm. Medical. Here at Deep Sky Medical, we can patch up only physical wounds, traumas, and even revive those who have fallen. However, treatment is expensive, so try to keep your limbs and organs intact. Okay. Reviving the dead. Oh, a customer. Welcome to my workshop. I've got plenty of useful upgrades for scavengers and travelers alike. I promise you won't find these things anywhere else in Deep Sky. Okay. Upgrades for our ship, I'm presuming. Or it said crew, but some, something else maybe. Anyways, we started talking like... to people. Oh, sorry. Uh, I want to say, he looks like what I expect me, myself to look like uh, when I, I get older. Let's see. Unlimited free flights. Check out the destinations on the star map. Choose a suitable one. Okay. Uh, we have the system where we are for Agnes, it seems. And then we have Queen. A level 1 derelict. A 5.5 million ton mass ship. 0% explored. Two missions that can be done there. And we have no location data, so let's go get some. Okay, yeah, this game is interesting, but I think only few critics is that, yeah, you can't uh, pause the text uh, or such. Let's see, can't make me when you're ready to go back to base, okay. Check our PDA, so we know where we're going. Okay, I mean the scanner, yeah, the scanner. You can use scan to reveal surrounding tiles. Focus scan and centers the scan to a targeted tile within scan radius, but costs more energy. Areas with points of interest can be examined for more details before entering. Blank areas generally don't contain anything of value, but can have hidden traps or enemies in the more dangerous derelicts. The smaller sized area icons on the map indicate the border of explored and unexplored parts of the derelicts. Okay, so there is... Those just signify that there are rooms there. Some areas in the derelicts are covered by room conditions that can be can apply either a beneficial or detrimental effect in and out of combat. Check the room condition icons or codex for details on their specific effects. Okay. Hmm. Oh, the e the EP is for traveling. Now, what is that over there? Okay. Search. Loot, excellent. Check for any equipment mods. Better gear is always helpful. Remember, the PDA's inventory tab lists all of the mods and scrap we've collected. 
We found some trash and a destroyed tool core. Okay. We are, well, we are <laughs> working with derelicts that are absolutely ancient. Let's see. Scan surrounding area. Oh, hello. Okay. Energy surge and likely enemies. Here we have All right. something else. Let's choke. Oh, okay. Enemies will actually move around as well. Well, combat it is against a defiler. At the beginning of combat, each character draws a starting hand of three cards at the start of their turn. Characters draw one card and get to play one card or action. Ending a turn without playing a card gives you the opportunity to play two cards on the following turn. By default, a character's turn in combat also drains 10 energy. Okay. The turn order is determined by the initiative or characters. Highest initiative goes first. Shields regenerate after each combat, but damage to your character's health is permanent and has to be treated. A character falls in combat when their health goes to zero. Your fallen characters can be revived back at Deep Sky Medical, provided that one of them survives in the fight. Okay. To win the fight, you will have to defeat all enemies. If the fight is going poorly or you're running out of energy, you can opt to retreat and fight another day. Okay, so we have Shadow going for first. Yep. Then we have Mojo, then the Defiler takes a turn. And I have to say, the, the art style is nice. And the, oh yeah. Let's see. Recharge shield, adrenaline booster, energize one. Energize extra cards can be played. Okay. So you could probably have a strategy where you get to play a ton of uh, a ton of cards during one turn to overwhelm the target. There we go. You can't attack. Okay, can, can we check who, what your cards are beforehand? It looks like. Craft, Supply, Dirty Punch, and Burst Fire. Uh, recharge Shield, Recharge Shield, Shield Boost. Okay, everyone has about the same shields. Okay, but they are not going to attack anyways. Stun Star, Mechanical Unit. Okay, so let's pass on this turn. They can't do anything. And, yeah, okay, they, okay, so we can check what cards they have beforehand, which is always nice. Let's see, uh, 90 weapon damage applies minus 5 initiative for 2 turns, okay, and it would put them at the absolute bottom of the pile, and 3 shots doing 36, okay, 3 times 2 to 4 damage, 100, applies a 33, okay. Let's see then. If we play this, we get a bunch more cards, but there's probably a maximum of cards that we can have. So for the moment, this has the most chance. Well, this is deals the most damage overall. Okay. Um, apply selected type of the eruption. Prevents the use of specific card types. Okay. Mechanical, shield burst, recharge, recharge. This one is pretty useless at the moment since it's a biological target. Uh, what specifically is. Okay, uh, let's disable their ranged ability since they've got a gun. So that's likely their strongest suit. Um, just in case. Up your shields a bit, since you have the least amount of health and shields. Okay, they <laughs> they missed their attack. Okay, this game looks like a mobile game I might play. Looks good, yeah. It, it looks nice, simple. Yeah, and it, it's on Steam though, so no bloody phone needed. Let's see. Uh, critical duration. In Plus one turn. Let's try this since it. Okay. And then we do it, this. I think the developers have said they actually got inspiration by Doctor's Dungeon when they made this. But uh, and as you see, 
They obviously also took a bit of their own liberties to not make it look like our, you know, carbon copy. Yeah. Let's see, purged all status from target. Okay, could be good or bad. Uh, there's no shields that need to be charged, so we can pass. They get a turn, a stunning blow. Let's recharge those. Oh. I misclicked there. I wanted to click the, the back one, but I actually <laughs> did nothing to him. Uh, let's see. I choose one, discard the others. Let's take that heavy strike then. And since we got energized, we just give them a, a whack. Okay. Oh, that did a lot of damage on them. So let's actually recharge their shields this time. Uh, hard resets. To oh yeah, they were stunned. Okay. 110 weapon damage, 10% chance to stun. Okay. 10% to lower their initiative. Let's just beat them up. Okay, Shadow. Might as well use that. Maybe a bit of waste on the energy, but I will. And that's just... Nope, oh, that was just enough. <laughs> well, they look pleased with themselves. Let's see. We got experience from that. Okay, they're going to need quite a lot more to level up, though. We've got a new card, a tech tool mod, plus four tech and plus five percent damage yes, resistance. Okay. Oh wait, all of these are let's see, level tool mods, or weapon tool mod, and an energy blade mod. Okay. Let's search the area. We've got some more trash, so take all. And then we go scan again. Let's see. Yeah, there's two enemies there, so let's try and avoid them. Oh, wait. Keep a close eye on our energy reserve. If it runs out, all systems in our suit will cease functioning. Did they manage to move two squares, or is that another group? Uh, oh, you, they can move diagonally. Okay, wormlings. Okay. No shields. Uh, oh, let's see. they look pleasant. Maybe should have gone for the weaker one, but we can just do this. Okay, I thought it would not... I should have read that a bit more. I thought that it was actually going to be... <clears throat> on one target, and there's... Oh, that got through their shields. Okay. Um, let's take you out, since you're next in line. Just split them in half. And there. Okay, they, they base, they're basically using a shotgun. We just didn't get to see that because they got a lot of other cards last round. Okay. Wormling intestines. They probably useful for something. Sweet, perhaps. Here. More junk. <laughs> Let's do a scan. What is with this area here? Yeah, do, do do remember to be careful with the energy. Yeah. Let's see, equipments are split into core and extension mods. Each class has either three or four core slots of different types. And each core mod has two extension slots. Okay, with two power, the link can only be added of their own type. In addition to possibly improving the stats of your characters, the core and extension mods add to their all other attached uh, cards or functions to a character's combat. Okay. Could have been described in a bit less of a wall. Consumables, yeah. The stuff that everyone always hoards and never uses. Uh, let's see. The way it's the game for me, some games I actually do use the consumables, others I use them less. Oh. Let's see. 
Okay, I can click these to see if I have anything that actually works with them, I'm guessing. And it looks, in this case, none. Anyone else has anything that can be used? Let's see. Let's put that on. Shield core, no. Shotgun, tool, shield core, no. Okay. Uh, oh. Did not mean to click to move. A group of lizards are scurrying around the room. Suddenly they stop and stare at you. And you hear a... I'm talking lizards? Okay. I'm talking skinks. Whatever. Oh, that's going to be... Ow. Okay. From Glacier Boy. I think call it out now. <laughs> okay. These guys are dangerous. <laughs> they just up their damage. I, I, I think we all can see... What the developers drew inspiration for, for these skinks. Uh, let's pacify that one. And hope that we get a... There we go. Actually, hold on. Okay. I noticed with the with the, the defiler earlier that he had armor, so that it was actually lessening damage. It, but if you target over something, it will actually tell you how much damage you are going to deal if it is a set amount. Okay. Now this one gets to go again. With... Oh, it didn't act, so it, it can act doubly in its next turn. Let's, pre let's hope to prevent that. And that should be enough. There we go. Okay. Hmm. We got a blade guard for an energy blade. And another main... Okay, another tech tool item. Uh, let me do another scan. And try to move... There we go. <laughs> yeah, they look like... Yeah. There you go on. <laughs> they look like the love child of a Skaven and a Xenomorph. He ain't lying. I would say it mixed between a lizard and a xenomorph, but yeah, do they? They play. They call them skinks, so probably like between a skink and a xenomorph in this case. Let's see. There's something here. No enemies nearby. Oh. Zero ice particle. We're making really cold drinks which can be used en masse as a coolant in compatible systems. Okay. Oh. oh. Uh, which part here is your energy again? This one here. Uh, oh. Okay, we found the end of this place. More oh, dilithium source uh, used to be uh, used in engines of various sorts can fetch a good price. Okay, and a small energy cell to restore up to 100 energy. Okay, let's head back, move over here, and then do a scan, and just let's head out. Let's see, uh, where do we call to be? Extracted, actually. Yeah, we just click it again and return to station. Okay. Let's see, the pawn shop can recharge any reserves for a reasonable price. Okay. Okay, only 81 credits. So, 10, <clears throat> 10 energy for every credit. And then we can sell what we don't need. Let's see, quest item. A pile of useless trash is a quest item? Okay. Yeah, it doesn't allow you to sell quest items, which I kind of like. Let's see. Let's sell that. So as long as we made... As long as we got enough to cover 81 credits, that would have been uh, a win. Let's see. Destroyed weapon. 
More trash. Okay, 170. That's a profit already. And another. Okay. And we've got a new weapon up as well, it seems. Okay, this, this game is looking interesting. Though I get the feeling uh, it would be a bit slow for actual streaming. I, I we're specifically going to trying to uh, hammer down on the storyline and such. But the, you know what? We should we we say we put this on maybe. Yeah. Like uh, it has the potential. Just we need to look into it before giving a final decision. Passive scanning, plus one vision range, plus 25 movement energy cost. Okay, that is a downside. Uh, energy reserve, we can upgrade our energy reserve. Oh, less energy use, always useful. And energy restoration, more from consumables, okay. Hmm. I'm thinking for the moment we upgrade the range on that a bit. Um, let's see. You were hurt a little bit. And we can just, yeah, give you some painkillers and be done with that. Okay. Hmm. Do we have time for another run with this? Uh, less than two minutes. Hmm. Let's, yep. Two minutes to station hall. Okay. Hello, scavenger. How goes your search? Um, okay, let's just to them. Why is the why is all of that garbage then quest material? Let's just jump in quickly see if we can find the bridge. Mostly just run around and scan the area. Yeah. Let's see. That's that's a dead end. We don't know and if it, that's a dead end. You remember? Alright. Alright. I like that. Okay, then we do a scan. Oh, there's enemies. So, okay. Three enemies, actually. Uh, let's see. Who was the shotgunner? You are the shotgunner. Sort all of our stuff. Let's see. Let's give you that. Anything we can equip on it? Or any of these? Nope. Our glove. Let's see. That gives cryo strike. Applies cryo three. Not sure what that does, but it's probably good. And that's all the stuff that we can equip on people at the moment. Wait, there's another signal there, but we can't. Or an enemy signal there. Let's see. Oh, we got it. Okay, so we can't move directly. Um. Yeah, that's the timer going off. Let's finish off this fight. An ancient eye. So, robot enemies. Oh, that deal a lot of damage, it seems. And are very quick. Okay. Yep. Uh-oh. Well, we, we do have just the guy for this. Let's see. Energy field. So, plus 100 energy efficiency and plus 15 damage. Yes, let's do that. And, oh, 13 damage, scatter shots. That, okay, that is targeting all of them. Now, you are the weakest. Uh, we've got some craft supply. You the weakest link. Goodbye. Let's use this. And take, let's see, which one do we take? Let's take the dirty punch. Because with that, we can take you out instantly without any hazard. Because the, the, the multi shot could have done just six damage, and I'm not sure if that would have been enough. And again, I didn't keep a complete eye on what their <clears throat> health was. Uh, let's see, the only booster aimed shots. Oh, they, oh, they refilled. Let's see. Doesn't make much of a difference. But I did puncture there. Okay. Deal with you. And 
then we just have a bunch of burst fire. Is that some... Okay, it's a gun tied to their arm, it seems. Okay. It looks like they drain their steel shield. Radiation shot. Applies three radiation. Prevents units from healing or restoring shields. Okay. Would have been nice at the very start here, but oh well. <laughs> we'll finish with it. <laughs> their, but he, their hand he, looks a bit weird. Um, yeah. Okay, but take yeah, all of that. I could see or stream this, but only if he done so he do some investigation to see how long the game is. Yeah, I, I get the feeling we would, if we were to stream it, it would be a lot of we go somewhere, we explore a bit, then we head back quickly again, because I typically tend to be very cautious with stuff like this, where there is potential permanent loss to gain, or permanent loss of materials and such. Yeah. So it does look like you could maybe off-screen grind it as well? It could be. Uh, but that would sort of defeat part of the purpose of everything. Well, it depends. Uh, like, if you can off-screen grind and avoid doing the story, and save the story for the streams, it could be doable. Yeah. Okay, next game. It should pop up any second now. Uh, why is it not popping up? Uh, oh, did I... Okay. Looks like I somehow uh, deep. Oh, okay. I see now because I had to switch the one that is in the free scene. It also swapped the one over here from the game it was already set to. So this should fix that. And uh, yeah, this one, this game is Democracy Three, as you can see. And I'll just say this up front: I don't expect we'll be streaming this because it's a Facebook game. No. Uh, let's yes. see. Mm -hmm. It had a, it has it, the Facebook icon next to the free. Oh, there. I think that made me more just that you can share stuff on Facebook. Not that I've ever touched Facebook myself. Uh, uh. But yeah, basically, you take the position as the leader of a country, and then you, well, have to survive slash try to bend it through the way you want it. It's, it's more like a sort of simulation or something than an actual game. So, for the moment, let's just jump in on the United Kingdom. Uh, term oh. settings, opposition. Uh, yeah, as you can see, this, there's a lot of parameters to play. Which Let's just go with the standards at the moment. And uh, you'll see why this will not be... Of much interest. Yeah, That's... and also, hello, Rom. Oh, hey, Rom. Hey. You doing well? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, today I'm gonna have my, almost my entire family come over, and that's gonna be annoying. But you know, I got the floor now, so that's nice. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah. Welcome uh... to Democracy Three, where you'll have to survive democracy somehow. Let's see. Welcome to Democracy 3. Yeah, you have just started your first term as Prime Minister and as your Chief of Staff, I'm here to explain how things work. The icons below show you a few key indicators of the state of our, com the state of our country. Hopefully you can change things for the better and get re-elected after your term is up. Press the button in the window below, mark the begin term of office to start governing. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta, we have 63 million citizens. Uh, the number of situations concerned that you need to deal with. It looks like there's some lines running through this that's making it a bit annoying to read. Uh, Re-election in four years. And we have, well, low GDP, low health, average education, poverty is doing average, but there's high crime and high unemployment. Okay. It's like, it's like, it's like we got the, it's like the last guy who ran the country fucked it up and now we gotta fix it. Thanks, Boris. <laughs> From here you can survey the current state of our country. It may look complex, yeah, but look... all the different... Hmm? No, I just remembered it was actually, like, Boris Johnson left, then 
Bliss Trust came in, but she lasted long enough that she was outdone by, like, I don't know, Cabbage, I think? Because yeah, a head of Cabbage lasted longer than her position. Uh, let's see. It may look complex, but all the different components work in a very similar ways. The icons represent different objects in the economy or society, including policies, laws, voter groups, and values for important concepts such as health and education levels for our citizens. Click the next button. These stripes in the center of the screen represent groups of voters, with the colored progress bars indicating how happy they are with your government. The light gray area below the text shows the percentage of our electorate that uh, in that is in each of these groups. One of the key concepts of Democracy 3 is to understand that individual voters can be members of many different voter groups at once. And the extent uh, to which they identify with those groups is in itself viable. You will never get all of these voter groups to entirely approve of you. Okay, so we have a lot of socialist people, a good amount of liberal uh, uh, good in, a lot in high middle income. Okay, low in retirement, but they are pretty happy with us. Let's see. Uh, only in the UK does a cabbage last longer than a prime minister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And hello there, Sensei. <laughs> oh, by okay. the way, uh, Battles oh, right, for the record, uh, Battlestar Galactica deadlock is free for the next few hours. Oh, two hours uh, on Steam? On Steam, yeah. Okay, that's a free game. I might as well go grab it. Uh, let's see. Isn't that... Uh, isn't that similar to that... Uh, there were two... There were two space-finding uh, games in uh, set in Warhammer 40k that came out in the last years. I think it's similar to that. I think so. Uh, let's see. Uh, ah, there we go. You'd think they would put something like this on the front page, but apparently not. And there, just add it to the well, account. I found, I found just... out about it because it was on... Gade? Like, well, that was the second time I saw it to confirm it, but by that point I had the game. But no, I actually found it on a, on the news while I was in... while I was looking at my phone before going to sleep. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll probably end this right after we finish with the tutorial because it's just buttons and colors. Yeah, right. and I was fe feel like playing this game is like playing with a minefield. Yeah. Uh, white icons are policies. You start the game with some already implemented, but most can be cancelled and many can be added. Many more can be added. They can also be adjusted. Policies are the primary method you use to govern the country. Okay. Blue icons represent statistical data relevant to your country. They concern abstract concepts such as GDP, gross domestic product, aka how much the, the country is making on average. No, the, the average. The, the, uh, I think it's specifically not the income that is made across the country divided by the citizenry. Let's see. You can affect statistical data only indirectly through policy decisions. Like the other icons, you will find them in different zones of the screen, depending on which part of the economy, society they represent, transport, tax, etc. Situations. Icons with a red or green background are situations. These are ongoing events taking place in your country, which may be going well, green, or badly, red. We can tell which... Well, it's going, so thanks again, Boris. You can encourage good situations and prevent or fix bad ones by your policy choices. Okay, connections, policies, data, and situations are interconnected through effects. Hovering your mouse over any of the icons will show how uh, influence flows between them, with green being a positive effect and red being negative. The speed of flow also shows the strength of the effect Experiment with this, then hit next. So if we look at organized crime, that is, let's see, that is putting down violent crime. Intelligence services are negatively affecting the, that, and that is positively affecting, what? Okay, I guess since it is organized, they are having, 
they have a benefit to keeping low, so they would keep the violent crime low, I'm guessing. Then we have street gangs that has a lot of connections, which is being fed by homelessness and unemployment, as well as poverty, which has down effects on tourism, and the conservatives retired and everyone just does not like them. And we have police force, CCTV, and community policy that are down effect. Okay. I'm probably not fully understanding, but I'm guessing if we do put these or these as they are currently, they aren't affecting them much or something, or they should be affecting them bad. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm presuming red lines to red areas would put them down if or were, if they are strong enough. Let's see, we have air travel, which is negatively affecting the environment, negatively affecting trail in, rail usage. Hmm. Let's see, voters. Let's take a look at a specific group of voters and find out more about them. Click on the voter strip for middle income voters. Okay, they are not happy with income tax. This window shows detailed information on a specific group of voters. Each group of voters have their own opinions and priorities, and every event or policy will affect each group in different ways. The chart shows the opinion of these voters over time, as well as how they feel about specific policies and events. Okay. This area shows a list of different inputs to the voter group and how they make the group feel. Green effects are good and positive, red effects are bad and negative. These effects may change over time as policy situations and core values change. The sum of all of these effects go toward determining how a group feels. Let's see, you can click on an individual effect as a shortcut to seeing more information about that item. For example, click on the effect showing the influence income tax has on our middle class voters. Okay, not very popular, obviously. And here we are at the detail screen for income tax. You can do this for almost any effect between two items. Income tax is a policy, white icons, and this screen shows you the effects that policy is having. Okay, and we have a policy slider. The slider is used to control the specific policy. You can use it to adjust income tax up or down, which will change the effects it has on all the linked items, such as voter groups, situations, and statistical data. Experiment with the slider and then hit next. Okay, so if we lower that, we will lower our income. And Let's see, to raise it would cause, or would spend, political capital, which is probably to be our, like, our income actions. And we can actually see it change on the back here as well. So if we lower it, we will drastically cut down on our income. It doesn't cost anything, but it would, it would get the middle income to like us a lot more. You probably notice that the effect shows two different values as you move the slider, the current darker effect, and the current yeah, the effect with the slider at its new position. The values will move from where they are to a new position over time based on the inertia time in number of turns at the far right of each effect. Okay. If that value is zero, the effect will be at the new level by the start of the next turn. Okay. And we can also revert changes just to make sure that we don't mess anything up. Uh, okay. I really don't like this game. Yeah, I think this is maybe more like a... That's the third game in a series already. So I think this might have started just as a way to show people that governing isn't as simple as people might think. Let's see, time to check out one of the situations that currently affecting our country. Click on any situation icons that you want more information on. Uh, let's deal with, let's try and deal with homelessness somewhat. This shows information on the selected situation. As you can see, situations can have both inputs on the left and outputs. The inputs show the causes of the situation and the outputs show the effects it has on other objects. You cannot change anything here. All you can do is see the various effects. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, it's being effect caused a lot by poverty and unemployment. So if we t take on unemployment uh, in some way, we will lower the homelessness. And what's this with start trigger and stop trigger? Okay. The chart at the top of the screen shows information on the actual strength of the situation over time and two triggers. The higher trigger is the value that actually triggers the situation to take effect. The lower trigger deactivates the situation. As a result, it's easier to... Okay. That explains. Statistics. Uh, let's look at... Let's we see. haven't even been... It's been, what, 10 minutes and we're just still in the tutorial? Yeah, More like it 15. is a complicated game. <laughs> yeah. I, I said, this game should have not been on the, not been on the something Sunday list. Yeah. But the tutorial is way too long and too bring. And also, Honestly. again, as I said earlier, a minefield. Uh, yeah, yeah. I did promise that with the showcase Sundays uh, on this second round through, we would be skipping less games. But uh, yeah, that does mean that we're going to end up with some like this. Uh, and now it's doesn't seem to be. Let's see. Let's like the policy, consumer rights. Let's implement that. That's very popular. And did you know there was a Sopranos game for the PS2? Okay. Look, I gotta come up with something to say just because we're stuck in fucking figures hell. Sopranos? That rings a bell, but who should have uh, watched it? it? It's, an, it's an old TV show. Oh. It ended yeah. like. How do we even get out of this? Yeah. Quit the main. And yeah. Maybe I might touch that some more on my own time. I I don't even know how I actually got that game. Maybe it was free at some point or something. Maybe you got it in a bundle? Could be. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to the next game for which I'm activating my controller. And yes, I didn't even start a timer for that one. Uh, I, there we go. Oh, that shows me that I forgot something again. Turn on do not disturb mode. Uh, what? It was said the uh, controller plugged in. Yeah, but it also shows the pop up, so just do not disturb mode. There we go. And yeah. I have no idea what this game actually is because it, <laughs> I got it for free on GOG recently. So let's see. We have no continue. Uh, shit just got real. Go get him, tiger. New game, who this? <laughs> Fuck with things you shouldn't be fucking with. The who's who of Desert Child. And quit the game. Okay. That's just uh, start the timer. Let's see. The West Olympian. Bit hard to read that. Uh, <coughs> bit hard to read that. Time's up. Travelers can expect increasing ticket prices as the government today announced plans to end its Earth to Mars migration subsidies. The program has become unviable due to the cost of clearing orbital debris, said the spokesperson. The opposition hit back, with one minister calling the announcement a cowardly cost-cutting measure. Okay, that's a jump. So for one, we, we can travel from Earth to Mars, and there's a space junk problem. I got um, I got actually a music video, basically using the vent for music for. for and well, and the clip, so you probably are gonna see a lot of things that are massively out of context. So spoilers, I guess. Hang on. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm. Yeah, I'm getting a feeling like the, those runner sites, runner games, where there's you have to get through like. Zombie invested cities or such. Uh, let's see, movement. Um, let's see here from Glacier Boy. 
This is something like Papers, Please game. Um, Not at all. Please, really, uh, maybe it's totally like one? Huh? What? Probably. Maybe it did start something like Papers, Please, but, you know, Papers, Please wasn't this. Um, what's the best way to describe it? Boring? TVs to ding. Yeah, there's uh, not even music now at the moment. Yeah, the, the start with the newspaper, yes, I could see that sounded like a, a paper's place, but once you play it, yeah. Similarities instantly drop. There's not, there's not even music at the moment. So, what? Yeah, I did see that the rating for this was rather low. But like with democracy, it boost up the truck to refill your ammo, okay. Oh, there's the music. Okay, a bit odd that you don't put the music in your tutorial. Uh, can I move backwards at all or is it just side to side? I think it's just side to side, but if you wanna farm the other guy, you gotta shoot. Why am I getting battle tools feeling about this? Or one of the hardest levels? Or second hardest? Oh, right, all right, the, uh, the, 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 I don't know, I don't know what it's called, but it's that one level where you can crash into anything because you're on like a high speed or something or other. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, the, the, we never got past it as I can see it. The child, nor did my parents. See, all you gotta do is be psyched. <laughs> because, dear god, that level was bullshit. So... It has everyone played it! Not me. I haven't, but I've seen it, and from what I've seen, yeah, it's bullshit. Yeah. It was apparently known as one of the hardest games for Nintendo 8 bits. Okay, chapter 1 Beautiful Losers. We, anyways, are we on Mars? I think so. No. Play Scarlet. Hey, you should think about doing this for real. They say, yes, their hover bike just smokes as much as an entire. Uh, yeah, I don't even. I, I don't even have a comparison. The 1960s airplane? Yeah. Cool bike, by the way. Very uh, rustic, very smoky. Maybe you could run a barbecue with it. Maybe sell those power cells to afford repairs. The pawn shops buys them. They can help fix it up. Anyway, see you around, sailor. Hmm. Okay, I was first thinking this all looked very charming, but... Uh, yeah, I'm a bit no, less on it now. Okay, we can just move back and yeah, forth. Yeah, like, it definitely have a, some old school game to it, but not in a good way. Hmm. Are we in space Mexico? <laughs> I think. Hey mate, got any power cells? Okay. Fuck aliens, really. <laughs> I mean, some people probably do want to fuck aliens. We have Dave's here. Okay, we could fix the thing for $100 or partially for $35. Let's see, what was this again? Hmm. Hungry? Get some ramen in you. Well, their hunger is at 100%, so no. So, what even are we trying to... Are we... What are we even trying to do with all of this? Uh, who was to talk to the pawn shop and get the bike repaired? Hmm. Does it even say that it... Okay, does it mean that it's 100% damaged or 100%... Let's just fix that. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that... Hmm. I'm guessing that means that we're also hungry. 
or is there something else going on? You're not hungry yet. You have 100% hunger. Okay. Low hunger helps recharge boost? Yeah, okay. you're not low hunger. There oh, never mind. Okay. You will. Okay, right. There's a lot of interesting ideas here, yours. Kind of really fall flat. Let's see, we can raise. So what are those purple things? Okay, there are turrets. Mines of a sorts. Okay, so basically we're like a, a street racer only, well, there's no streets. Oh, out of ammo. Uh, ah, there it is. Uh, yeah, if, if there is much interesting about this game, it's not really showing it at the moment. Yeah, like, I that I see this, there were some interesting ideas, just, yeah, it kind of, it kind of feels like it, it fall flat. Like, it kind of... nice, but... As I say, it... Like, you can say, it kind of... It's missing something. Yeah. Hmm, let's just finish this race. This not even showing anything showing from how far we have to go or anything. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, we won. Okay. Fancy seeing you again. We're just passing through. I saw tickets to Mars have just hit 500. Got your bike fixed, I see. Okay, so we are probably in actual Mexico then. It looks as good as mine. We still beat you out. Uh, you, <laughs> we still beat you with a broken you know, ride. Uh, okay, so our goal is to get $500 so we can get to Mars. But why, why do we even want to go there? So, yeah, I'll have to do... It's not hooking at all. Yeah, like... I don't know, it feels like someone made want to make a game, but they... They didn't really put too much soul into it, if that makes sense. Mm, maybe they're not just too... It could be in one of their first games or something. Like, the music was nice, it was repetitive, but... Uh, yeah, it's... and I, I did the same for it. had a lot of interesting ideas that just sadly fell flat. Yeah. <laughs> they want to go clap some alien cheeks. <laughs> okay, next game. Okay, so I need to alt enter to get to this. And then, wait, did I actually have that still in here? Uh, let me see. No, not those. Wait, did I? No. Oh, God damn it. Oversight. Right! Right! Yeah, it. I accidentally double clicked on something, so it opened up a thing. Uh, did I even change in either of. Oh, I changed both of those to the same thing. So let me just quickly fix that. Um, <laughs> there. <laughs> Okay, that is somewhat better. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the fourth game, and you, well, you can guess why. I, I think you can guess now why I installed a bunch more games than usual. This is uh, Desperados, Wanted Dead or Alive. And uh, yeah, this game is a lot like Commandos, but set in the world, you know, in the world west, in the wild west. <laughs> so. Let's restart the timer. Something, something, 
dead Will Smith song while Wild Wild West. <laughs> what? Excellent yes. good song. And personally I found the game I personally I found the movie to be pretty decent. But apparently compared to the source material, most people just hated it. Honestly, hmm. I I enjoyed the movie. Okay. Is it uh, was a movie? Yeah. Let me just move this up a bit so I, I don't have to look down as much because this is this is an old game, as is more than obvious. Uh, so it's 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 only working in very small windows. So yeah, let's see. Current level one, missions accomplished, zero. Let's just start and play and hope that there is a tutorial. <laughs> yeah, I got it. It would have been interesting if there had been a world war during the time of the Wild West. So, resetting the timer. Okay, this looks good. Size <laughs> sombrero banditos. Okay, he caught it instead of smacking it. Not quick enough for that. Some potent dynamite, and that thing stopped real quick. Uh, why? What do you want? I want to solve your problem. Oh yeah? You and whose army? Who? This one. Any idea where I can find them? I'm afraid I'm not the right person to ask. All I know is that these outlaws are part of a bigger gang that's been terrorizing this area for months now. Right now, the situation seems to be too much for Marshal Jackson to handle. Where can I find Marshal Jackson? Well, I'll tell you, he owns the Hacienda just north of El Paso. But I wouldn't recommend you visit him. He's a mean one, that's for sure. Why not? Well, in the first place, he ain't even here. Folks in town are saying he ain't coming back for a while. Maybe two or three weeks. And secondly... He uh, don't much like people like you. Uh, oh, how can I say this? Uh, mm, bounty hunters. Ooh. Is that so? Uh, two weeks. That should be long enough. Uh, what are you planning on doing? Uh, mm, I'm gonna get myself a couple more partners. Ooh. 
Well, did you get all that? Huh? Let's see. So, uh, what do we do now? Nothing. He won't succeed. And even if he does, we still have time enough to do something. Okay. What? Okay. I have a little Fallout vibe for this old, old Fallout. Yeah, like Fallout 1 or 2, the isometric ones. Yeah. Tactics, I just realized. Yeah, that too. Damn me if it ain't John Cooper. Bill. You lousy horse thief, you. They still not strung you up? No way! I'm looking for Samuel. You haven't run across him by any chance. Sam. Hmm. As far as I know, he got taken on by some fine dude by the name of Clayton. Charles Clayton. Some farmer down south. Fairly rich guy. Hey, you ain't planning on disappearing again right away, are you? There's gonna be a big party here today. Well, I'm in kind of a hurry. Oh, come on. Sam's not gonna run away. Come on. See if you're as good as you say you are. Follow me. Okay. Now we have... Uh... Was it just me, or did that guy sound a lot like the cook from Techno Mage Return of Eternity? I... Sure. It might have just been the accent or something. I, I would be really surprised if it's the same voice actor. But it's not impossible to see how old this game is. Here goes. And I win. The music is even a bit similar in some tones. Oh, yeah. huh. Hey, John! Over here! Thank you. Uh, yeah, you people have a bigger screen of this than me, so it's... Where is that damn guy now? Let's get going. Okay, we can move around with the ma with the arrow keys a bit. Okay, but what now? Where the heck is he? We got here. He, okay. he ran... Uh, he went under the post. Which Next post? to the wheel thingy. Come on. He, yeah, he went under, the, under that post. Okay, okay, crawl. Or click on the crawl icon on the toolbar. And that is... Which one? Um, out there, okay. Uh, yeah, oh, there he is. Here goes. Uh, this is how the original Commandos game okay. looked in a similar style, like fully isometric. Let's get going. Oh, yeah, only one perspective and everything was sprites. Okay. Uh, let's see. Click on the obstacle to be crossed. Mouse going changes or click directly on the target on the other side. Okay. So he'll do that automatically. Not bad. I can see you ain't lost your knack for climbing. I wonder if you're still as handy with a gun. You see that flower pot up there on the balcony? Well, oh, I can't shoot voice. it down from here. How much? Whoever loses pays for the liquor. It's a deal. Both are, but today's standards and ordered by then, voice actor veterans. They've been in many games and cartoons. It's uh, press the hotkey for shooting or click on the weapon icon, then use the crosshair to click on the target. The lighter the color of the crosshair, the greater the likelihood of a bullseye. Okay, and it's pure white, so... There. Damn it! What nut is doing all the shooting around here? Yeah, in the name of all that's unholy! Is that you, John? Why don't you come up and see me sometime, sweetie? Thanks for the offer. Maybe later. <laughs> the voice acting is a bit, uh... 
there. Uh, click on grey cartridges. Check weapon does not overheat. What? Uh, grey cartridges where? Where? Understood. Okay, Satisfied. there we go. Hmm. Looks as though Lola ain't forgot. Yep. Looks like she's still carrying a torch for me. Come on, let's get out of here. Okay. Check building, stand in front of door, point cursor at entrance and wait. Red is enemy in the building, blue is civilian, green is building empty. Okay. Uh, point cursor. There's the entrance, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, we can also press shift to look. Uh, come on, are you going to move or not? Click on entrance, all possible exits will, <coughs> will be highlighted. Click on any exit to leave the building. Uh, are you going to walk or not, John? And again, there's a the part up there that went missing. So, I think the game might have glitched. Oh, we can zoom in. Zoom out. Oh, he, he needs to be selected. Okay, that was my mistake. Hurry up. Oh, come on. Okay. We got here. That one's locked or something. It okay. Goes right. Oh, no, it's, it's a little shack on the side. Okay. Come on. Uh, oh, there he is. Show. Okay, let's just stay zoomed in. If the moment I do that, the camera starts moving on its own. Here goes. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. Which of you is tough enough to take on Bonebreaker? Let's have a look at the strong man. Ha ha! Looks to me as though we might have found a couple of volunteers with guts. Come on up. Just step this way. There's twenty-five dollars just waiting for you if you lay Bonebreaker out with just one blow. What do you think, John? He should be a dead sense for you. Twenty-five dollars, huh? That's easy money. Remind Thank people, twenty-five dollars back then was a lot. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh. uh I'm just liking the cheese of this old game. Like, it's obviously not as uh, up to standards as today would be, but it is it is a bit of nostalgic fun. Let's see, hit with the hit button, I, and I do I, I like the small little details, like their small animations when they're talking and such, and when you're ch hovering over stuff that it actually changes. And there we go. Knocked out in one. Well, I'll be. This gentleman here done it. Give him a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. A big hand. There you go, mister. Twenty-five dollars. It was a pleasure. Not bad. Seems to me you ain't forgot all your tricks, John. How about a little duel at the knife thrower well, stand? Can, Just to round when, things uh, off. When a can of soup was 12 cents. Yeah. And oh, really? That's... Stars show how long they remain knocked out. Right this way, gentlemen. Right this way. How about a round of double or nothing? Loser pays for all the drinks and gives the winner 25 bucks. Why do I get this damn feeling you just want to provoke me, you old crook? Shoot, come on, take a chance. Stop making such a damn woman fuss. Stand on the line, please, and throw just as soon as you're ready. Everyone just looking like they've been creased up in <laughs> cucumber oil or something. Okay. Knife throw. Use the mouse point to point at the targets. Oh. And it does show if we can actually hit something with a green dotted line. 
And he didn't even hit the hey, target. That's one eagle eye shot, mister. Just cut down a prize from one of the ropes. And don't forget to take your knife along with you. Okay, let's get going. The music. If ain't like they borrowed some tunes from New World Games. Mother Michelle, there's gotta be another way. The intro from the icon back in the Lord Heaven and May Heroes 3. Go, cut something. Hmm. A musical watch. Well, it's still better than missing the target. Just ain't your day today, is it? Don't forget. You owe me twenty-five dollars, bastard. <laughs> the motherfucker. <laughs> Did he run off with our cash? Shoot him. Yep. That cheater. I saw it all. He robbed you, John. You ought to string that no good pull cat up. Hurry Poor up. Cats. You might just catch him. He left town heading out east so fast it made your head spin. Just wait till I get my hands on him. <laughs> the first person we meet and we're already out to kill him. Uh, and again in the Wild West people will got killed for a lot less. Where the fuck is he? Got him. My watch. That no good thief must have dropped it. He couldn't get away fast enough. Hmm. Maybe I can use it to give him a little surprise. Let's see if it still works. Let's see. Pick up, release watch, press the hotkey for watch, or click on the watch icon. Click on the spot where you want to place the watch, put the mouse pointer, and set the time after you hear the tune. Okay, I, I didn't notice that at all. I, I'm only looking over here where the screen is bigger that I actually notice it. And. Hmm. Hurry, hurry up. Uh, let's see, this is the watch. There's gotta be another one. He just keeps resetting. Oh, here's the watch. Okay. And we can put it down. Set the timer. Okay. So it's a lure. You realize something about Chainsaw Man. Oh. What? It's a it's a manga. Uh, it... The anime came out. And I'm pretty sure. What I would say would be spoilers, so I'm not really gonna say it. Okay. Okay, okay I didn't set it down earlier. Why is it there? Yeah, uh, and the it's there and it's uh, counting upwards. Yeah, no, backwards. Also, you. Why are you so close to the TNT? Wait, TNT? Yeah, it's not TNT, it's a, mo it's a watch. Uh, yeah, it Aye. looks like something is off because it. Hey, how did that get there? <laughs> okay, we can use that to cause distractions. But uh, yeah, oddly enough, the, the game is running in a four by three window, but as is very clear, it's actually in sixteen by nine. So uh, if I just go full screen, oh yeah, that gets stretched all hell. Hmm. That is a bit of a conundrum. Let me just pause for a second, unblock this, and then... Uh, yeah, it looks see. even small on my end. Let's see. This one, just, let's move that out of the bundle. And then we copy the shape of the 16 by 9 preset that I have. Copy. And then paste. I probably should memorize these at some point and... There we go. And then we go full screen, and there. That's better, but now I can't see stuff on the sides. Also, let me just unselect that so there's no big red borders on OBS. Yeah, so... Only me and Rob can see shots? Uh, I can still look over here. The only thing that is really missing is that I can't see... I gotta creep up on that double crosser without him seeing. If I can just get up close enough. Get the only up. thing I'm really missing at the moment is uh, the task manager stuff. 
guessing this is the one. Yes, it is. And yeah, that looks very familiar, doesn't it? Uh, enemy is... Yeah. Enemy is unaware if it's green. Yellow is has been alerted. Red is spotted and recognized you. Come on. Okay. So how do we actually get up on him then? Hey, did the... Oh no, he has a blind like a... spot there. Oh. Here goes. Come on. Okay. He has no... Oh. Here goes. Is that a mission fail? That is a mission fail. Yeah. <laughs> Big Bill has spotted you and fled. And... Okay. Yeah. Like with many of these... <laughs> you have to go with your own saves. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what was... Real-time tactics. That's the short name for these games. Uh, because, yeah, it's not real-time strategy, because you're typically working with a small group. Damn me, if it ain't John Cooper! Bill, Wait, can we... Okay. You lousy horse, they still not... No way! I'm looking for you. Okay, we can't speed say. through Charles, this. Hey, there's go well, I'm... Oh, come on. But, yeah, that, that was my own fault for that. Uh, a bit clunky, but I'm getting the feeling for it. And, well, I did say I wanted to stream more real-time tactics games after Commandos 2. So, I'm putting this on a, a yes-leaning maybe. Yeah, a maybe yeah, I, I, yes, I would say. Wouldn't it be yeah. a maybe-leaning yes list? <laughs> uh, yeah, but it'll take some getting used to and a lot of saves coming. Well, actually... In the real-time tactics genre, safe scumming is actually is more supposed to be like the norm because you are putting your entire run at risk or the entire level run at risk if you're not saving regularly. And uh, yeah, that means I made these sidebars for nothing with this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, turn on that again. I should. I'll put that back into place later. Okay. Then. Let's move on to the next game. Oh, I forgot this one needs to run through DX window. Which is already running, apparently. Okay. Okay, um, here we go. Yep. That sounds uh, familiar. Is it, why is it not capturing? Okay, it's glitching out a bit. And you'll see in a second why that is sounding familiar. If the game will actually get captured. And it... Okay, it's... How is this... How is a game this old drawing this much from the process... From the graphical cards? Well, we'll see if you recognize it from sound alone then. Because apparently the game isn't being captured either. It did earlier. They would say? Yep. <laughs> Music yeah, we say nothing. And I've never seen any gameplay of Deus Ex. I'm not sure. It's one of the games that I can ignore. Like I saw a fan here and there, I just felt, eh, not my kind of thing. I heard many people I talk very hyper for it. I don't know to them what is it about. They better give me any information to go with. Why is it refusing to capture? It it worked before. And it, it hmm. Let's try this again. And is then, this one of those games that somehow does not it, like Discord? And it crashed. Now it's more that it doesn't like OBS, I think. Uh Oh, that reminds me, I gotta get OBS again. Oh? You can start up the game. Also, I should stop the, stop the timer. Uh, recovery mode. So just run the game. I know for a freaking fact that I got it to work before. 
and see. Okay, just it just it's refusing to work. This or it's refusing to be captured. Some winning. I know hmm. you can board. I know you can at least before you can actually do that with fucking Okay, it does not like getting alt tapped either. Okay, that's a first. Uh, yeah, it's just refusing to work for some reason, it seems. Uh, the game is running, but it refuses to be captured. I will find it incredibly funny if you decide to like go through all of this after it, and then, okay, the game's recording, what the fuck? Yeah, Mainly would not be surprised at all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I was I was thinking about some uh, streaming some of the Deus Ex games, uh, but I'm guessing the first one just disqualified itself because it's refusing to function, or at least refusing to function with OBS. Yeah, how old it is? Is it by now? Uh, very. It was made in like the late nineties. So Wait, yeah, twenty is that, years. Is that old. Yep. There's a literal joke that it technically, you know. Uh, made a premonition about 9-11 because if you look at the skyline in the first levels, you didn't actually see the uh, Twin Towers. This was because of um, memory issues. They couldn't actually get the side of the skyline that had the Twin Towers, so they just copied the, main, the one half of the skyline. And basically, they just said that in the background, it was like, there was a terrorist attack that took down the Twin Towers, and wouldn't you know it, 9-11 happened. Yeah. Uh, okay, then. Oh, dear. And this is why I install extra games, just in case. that Actually, it was number five already, so we're on to level number six. So it's a good thing that I had installed eight for this, just to make sure that we didn't run short. Now, this one should work. Is he calling it on short? I think Turkey recognizes it. Due to how when hang on, do the changes on to how to display capture on Windows <laughs> identifies and saves monitors, you will need to reselect your display for any existing capture sources. Yeah, we, we could tell by that giggle he reckon he knew. Because I'm pretty sure you're the one who recommended this game to me, actually. Yeah. Cyber Smooth is a good series. Both, both this one and the uh, Hacker Memory. Yes. The only criticism I have for Hacker Memory is it's definitely a good story. Yes. Where meant they have way, way more longer cutscene and dialogue elements that could have been a bit balanced out. At yeah. least Ko Kojima would look at this game and say, cut it down on the cutscenes, please. Yeah, well, another way to keep it, that is to get English voice actors. So if you yeah. like me, that sometimes try to read, and suddenly you brain lag and you end up re -re trying to reread mess the one line over and over. This means, yeah. Something took me quite a while to read through it, due to my brain was getting tired. Yeah. Uh, one it. small thing against this game is that you can only get to the options once you actually get in the game. So that is just a weird thing. So we're probably going to you're probably going to hear the audio just drop in a second because in game I have it a lot lower because I've been playing this for quite a while. <laughs> Wait, was this originally here? Or are they calling me out for starting a new game? Oh, okay, this is... You, you have the complete thing. I, I have the both games separate disc on PlayStation. You have the complete edition on Steam. <laughs> What's he doing now? Uh-oh. 
Okay, I guess he got kidnapped. Oh, he got scared by... Uh... I forgot was her, if her name was Mirai. Still muted, my friend. Yep. I, I'm in too much of a habit to switch off my mic when I go BRB. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah. Uh, I have the complete edition of this game, which means I have the original story here with Cyber Sleuth, as well as Hacker's Memory. Now, if you're if you're questioning why uh, Hacker's Memory is listed quote unquote first. You have to keep in mind that in Japan, things are read from right to left. So the first game shows up on the right. <clears throat> oh, I never see that happen. I never bought game complete edition in this manner. I mean, Japan does have things being written halfway, so it makes sense for the Japanese. It gets really confusing for anybody else. Yeah. Okay, story of Cyber Sleuth in Worlds Real and Digital. Jump into this world for the first time here. And then we have story of the novice of a certain hacker team. Another view of this world through hackers' eyes. Both of these stories happen in the same place. And at when you're playing Hacker's time. Memory, yeah, at the same time, you will come across points that appear in here. So it is best to start with Cyber Sleuth. Or, well, Cyber Sleuth Vanilla, as you could call it. Yeah. And also, before we forget, a third one is in the works. And, okay, I'm gonna say not to be here, and I will be extremely clear. What I'm going to say is rumor. I repeat, rumor. Okay. That they may finally add in the third game English voice actors. Yeah, from what I've heard, this game was very, very liked, and I'm guessing the reason why they went with only subtitles is that they probably didn't actually expect it to do well in the Western market, because there's a lot of games that are only released in Japan and such, that have never seen uh, the shores of Europe or America without fans translation. Uh, fan translation. Yeah, like they usually add English voice actor where they feel confident, like... Uh... Oh, uh, was it on a Pigman World New Order or something? That's when they added English voice actor, and that one was was very fun. Okay. Um, so, uh, we give another word with these two. Both games here can give a little bit of an emotional trip. Yeah. Uh, Digimon has always been a rival to Pokemon, and though Pokemon has clearly been the bigger winner, Digimon is still uh, around, and it tends to 
it tends to lean a bit darker with things as well, more mature. Not in yeah. the not safe for work mature kind, or not the typical one you think of like 18 plus uh, sex and such, uh, but more in the yeah subject matter that can come up. Yeah, like it, it has matured with its audience and it's aware that all its fans are kids. Something that Something that Nintendo only accepted recently about Pokemon. <laughs> For Pokemon, it's way more aimed at uh, kids. Uh, the Digimon, yeah. they were almost ready from the beginning to get dark and mature with the audience. And people who used to said that this, that Pokemon are very good at making gameplay, but Digimon is are extremely good at making very good story. Yeah. Something Many Pokemon games suffer from <laughs> pros and cons on each. And one way to basically exp to tell it uh, is that the very first Digimon anime starts with a bunch of kids going missing. So yeah, yeah. I'll say no more for, for spoilers of people who possibly haven't seen all that. But uh, let's get started. Is there, over here is a recording of another story. Okay. New game plus. Sharing save data. When starting a game in Hacker's Memory or Cyber Sleuth, choose save data from another scenario to share your field guide and the Digimon Medals info. Okay, not actually not actually the new game plus option. Uh, <laughs> and let's not this time. Uh, let's change the options, yeah. Okay, and on my personal save, I have all of these lowered to like 20. But that was because I would be playing this for quite a long time to grind up levels and such on Digimon. Which works quite a bit different than with Pokemon. Yeah, like, I am tempted for us to stream this. So if you have benefit of being able to grind off screen, the, the game is rather easy the first time. Yeah. However, my only concerns are, especially with hack memory, some cutscenes. Yeah, that will go on and on. But, like, we have been going on and on about this game, so let's get this started. Yeah, before Rob falls asleep. And now I will start the timer. Okay, that's a bigger. Why are we jailbreaking our PC in Discord? <laughs> Unleave the internet. <laughs> Basically, VR chats, but 2D. <laughs> The gold man Fanta, really? Means digital monsters. Uh, hello, Buck Bunny on the way in. Okay, 
Yep, here comes the moderation team. <laughs> Shift in music for a moment. Except for one, of course. What could... <laughs> what could ever go wrong, huh? Yeah. And it's really realized... Um, you do realize the eat start of this is rather long? Yeah, we'll just see how long we can go. It's this... longer than 30 minutes, Hill. It's about one hour. Before you might yeah. even be able to save. Did you? Did you literally just? Did you just putting a game that was that was directed by Hideo Kojima's pseudonym? <laughs> Maybe. No. Akino and Blue Box went this. on the late night the late night gap fest. As always, topics were loose with no real focus. Eventually, dawn broke outside their windows. That was the day they were finally going to meet in Eden. They spent the day much as they did the day before, and then the appointed time drew near. And welcome back, Glacier Boy. Welcome back. Okay. Kamishiro Enterprise, Eden. ようこそ電脳空間の楽園エデンへ。エデンはメタバースにおいて革新的なサービスの数々を提供する新世代型デジタルコンテンツです。ショッピングから映画などの各種エンターテインメント、企業間の商取引から行政機関の手続きまで、
slight purple outline. This will be the first time I've met them outside a chat room. I don't know what their avatars look like though. But I should be able to figure it out. I'll try making small talk with the Eden avatars in the area. Oh yeah, this is basically the Matrix, but uh, less evil. Yeah, uh, better put up than the Metaverse I heard about. Yeah, a certain someone might have heard of this and just got jealous and tried to make it themselves, but from what I hear, it's only been running at a loss. Yeah, it's, it's several people actually, they were making make games for it, just abandoned it, just you know, for some reason, like, like, you know what? We're no longer interested in working with you. And then they themselves fire a lot of ga game companies. So, uh I don't know how to actually progress from here. I, mean, I think we just have to chat with everyone. Yep. Let's see. I've heard there's an area in Eden filled with hackers. Why wouldn't the company shut down such a dangerous area down? Uh, yeah, shut you know, such a dangerous area down at once. The round thing with the arrow is the access point. You can use it to travel around Eden. Oh, that was enough. It seems. You talk to, to the right any... character, bro, like. Could be. There don't seem to be any avatars like that. I guess I should have too early after all. Infamous dot dot dot. There's still time left before a meeting. I should check out some of the other areas. Okay. Oh, I should probably give a La Lily Veer. The main character is 16, if I remember right. Mm, they typically tend to be that ish age. Uh, no, in Digimon, they're usually a bit younger in some of the older uh, Digimon media and other monster trainer shows. So I can like that at least went a little bit older than usual. Nope. Did you guys talk about now? The feature is getting a call. Who could it be? Huh? Hey there, it's me, Mrs. Navit. Just one sec. You're behind schedule, silly. You're gonna be late. Hurry up. Come to Galacta Park in Kowloon. Kowloon? Your two friends arrived a little while ago and are waiting for you. Vietnam? Hmm? Kowloon, isn't that in Vietnam? I think there was sure. a... I think there was a, a... Not really a city or something. It was called a city or something. But in China, that was like really... It was basically like a... No, 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 no. It was in Vietnam. It was, it was China. It was like Kowloon Walled City. Yeah, that. Basically, it's slums built upon slums. Uh, which were really pop densely populated. Like you could, you have no. At times, have to squeeze through uh, structures to get around. Let's see. I have a gift for you all, but everyone has to be there first. Bye bye. Kowloon? Isn't that the dangerous area full of hackers? Or however you're supposed to pronounce it. I'm sure I do. Yeah, uh, I have to hurry. Uh, Okay, calm down, don't need to panic. Yeah, better to stay chill, mostly. I wonder what he meant by a gift. Anyway, let's go to the collector park in Kowloon. I've never been anywhere near Kowloon. How do I get there? There might be someone here who knows how to get to the collector park in Kowloon. I'd better ask around. We got a keyword, which which we can ask people stuff. Yep. During conversations, you will hear keywords. Keywords mark characters with a lock icon. This means that you can ask the character about keywords. If you ask the right character about a certain keyword, the lock will open and you will learn some new information. Okay. So, oh dear, so many memories. Uh, I, 
I remember actually I had a little method when playing this. Like one day I have just for grinding and the next day I do story and then I repeated it like that. Yeah, you do need to grind quite a bit to not get your ass kicked. Kind of busy here. Well, well that and the Digimon have max levels that you would get higher the more you A digivolve and D and D digivolve and all that. So you have to go up and down a lot. Yeah, evolution isn't a one-line road in this series. It's more like a push and pull. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. What? You want to go to Kowloon? But why? It's lawless and filled with hackers. Besides, if that's what you're into, we're, we're done here. Go talk to a hacker if you want to know about it. There's a hacker-looking thug near the entrance. Don't blame me for your foolish decisions. Grow up and take responsibility for yourself. Okay, dick. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I say a shiny. Oh, here. Will you walk past it? And yeah, those are the medals that you mentioned. They're, they're collectibles. Yeah, do you can... If you did get, get extras of one you already have, you can... You actually can sell them for quite a lot of money. Yeah. I want to go to collect a park in Kowloon. That's what you think you want, isn't it? I'll show you the way. This is the URL to the area. Take it. There we go. I got the URL. Now we can go to Kowloon. Totally not a setup of some sort. Up this. And yeah, now we go into the inner workings. This is a nice tune, but it does get grating if, if you have to listen to it for hours. Yeah, when I were grinding levels, I usually had some music around. To not get bored. <laughs> and welcome to the most hilarious character in this game. Let's see. Yep, I go by Aiba. Did you happen to be Akino by any chance? Looking at the hair. Ah, So you weren't alone here.
チキンのくせに行きがってこんなとこまでのこのこ来てんじゃねえよそそのこんなとこに置き去りにしたのはどこのあなたよあんたの血は何味だあーうっせうっせつーか初めてだよなこっちで会うの真田新ただま適当によろしくちょ自己紹介くらいちゃんとしなさいってのもう分かっちゃってると思うけどこれがブルーボックスの中の人だよなんかイメージ違くないあっちだといい感じに面倒見よくって頼れる兄貴っぽいじゃん私もこっちで初めて会った時マジビビった不愛想だし自己中だし目つき悪いし<笑> The look on his face <laughs> He looks like he doesn't want to be in this game So why is he called Nokia? That's a name Yeah, that's her yeah, first name that... No, I get that I mean, why did they pick the name of a phone company? I, I, I know many people have joked about that name But in fear it may actually be a Japanese name Or Oh, she actually is half European. Uh, but I think there are hints that the, the main character is also half European. Okay. It would be a little hilarious for them to find out, hey, you were named after a phone <laughs> made 50 years ago. Oh, they, they, they do a lot of... Uh, actually, there's a lot of actually very old references here to some things that will not spoil. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I do hope that、uh, the time for them to speak is enough for most people to get a reading as well. Yeah, that's my issue. Like, well, I could read what the chart used to find, but if there was anything that I misread something or something disturbed me in reading, then I had to wait them to finish talking before reading again due to I have gone out of sync. And it happened a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm also just a quick reader, so I, I'm hoping not, I'm not going too fast. <laughs> ハッキングだ。俺たち全員ハッキングされているこのプログラムが完成デジモンキャンプチェ俺のゴールは簡単に突破しやがったやり手だなナビットってやつでデジモンキャプチャー最近ハッカーたちの間に出回っているハッキングツールだオタクが興味津々だったそのデジモンだろうーん特定のデータデジタルモンスターをスキャンしてキャプチャーするとおやっぱデジモンってデジタルモンスターの略らしいぜ<笑> He looks happy about that. Oh dear.
やめとけプログラムにプロテクトがかかってる無理に削除すると何が起こるかわかんねえぞ Music is a bit loud compared to the voice acting. Most of it, this uh, track. Oops, someone ran off. No, I will say the the music in this is actually good. But yeah, if you're gonna grind, it's good to put on some music so you don't destroy it. But you want you want to save the soundtrack. When you do the story for the soundtrack, it's very good uh, indicator what the heck is going on. Yeah. Arata. I would have to say, Arata is my least favorite. <laughs> And I actually thought I would hate Nokia, but no, I love her. Uh, I just like her. Yeah, you can only really log out at specific points here. Yeah, and. Uh Oh, yeah, he is one of the good soundtracks. Let's see, you might find an exit there too. Let's go look. Also, I'm seeing a lot of names in the chat program. But a lot of those look like bots, so I'll have to do a bot sweep after this. Uh, you're seeing wrong with a cannon. Uh. Oh, I just had an idea. Hey, look, we can actually now save the game. Yeah, half an hour time. in. If we're only like an hour in. Yeah, and also... <laughs> 14 seconds, 12 seconds. As it is, if we stream this, I think we can name some Digimon after friends, and I think we have a few of these where we can name after Rom. Okay. Yep, and that's the stream timer going off, but let's go a little bit further. Uh, it feels totally different from the cyberspace areas in the upper part of the Eden network. There's no trace of Arata. We may have gone further inside. And yeah, some of the names I'm seeing over there, like... Those are real obvious bot names. Oh dear. World of Streamers, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure I've As it is. banned one of those before. Yeah, there is it is. I, I love Nokia as a character, I will say that, so don't get... I love her as a character for... She looks like those two would be annoying, but she's actually just... One of the best characters in this game. We've been here for like five minutes and we're already starting to see things. at all has been inscribed oh good, oh, good. We, got, we got the fucking satanic rune scribed into our brain now i Where's beg the... your pardon no wait it's windings yep Jones is dangerous as they say who knows what might happen here you're the one that decided to go into the walled city's internet Uh, did we sell our soul to Satan? Now I, I think he got it for a bargain price and just ran out the door. Shinsoa, Boku, Tada, Shinsuki, what's not a kid? 
そんなところは安心するといい僕は幽霊じゃないこのエレンにちゃんと実在しているよ君のような迷い子を導くためにね君はハッカーの証であるプログラムレジモンキャプチャーを手に入れたばかり That's a bit of a simplification. I'm pretty sure if you'd never use it, you wouldn't be a hacker either. I was a hacker. 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 君はどんなハッカーになるか。その様子だと、ひなどりどころか、まだ卵から帰ってもないようだ。ハッカーを目指すか、他の何者かになるか。それは君の自由さ。だが、敬意はどうあれ。君はハッカーに興味を抱いてここまで来てその結果デジモンキャプチャーを手にしたそうだろだったら試してみるといいデジモンと呼ばれるプログラムの驚くべき力だそれでもいいそれでは Uh, Maybe he is. He's not. He's not. <laughs> he's not. 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 And yeah, like with Pokemon, you get to start pick from three starters. He's not voice acted. Yeah. Some parts are just mostly in side quests, is not.、Uh, <clears throat> mostly in side quests,、uh, there is no voice acting. So yeah,、uh, yeah. he will be doing some voice acting ourselves where the characters are, are not being voiced at that time. Well, let's go with Pokemon. I always go with Palmon as well. <laughs> I actually went with、uh, Haguru. Ha Haguru Mon, I think that's the g a r d in the car one. Haguru Mon, indeed.、Yeah. There we go. You seem to have made up your mind. Okay, let's bring you out of your shell. Several steps are required to obtain a Digimon. If you discover or encounter a Digimon program, run a scan and then acquire the analyzed data. Those are all done with Digimon Capture. You can use that without any restrictions. But just because you've got the analyzed data doesn't mean the Digimon program itself is yours. First, you have to convert it. You must launch the Digimon program and implement it in cyberspace, first and foremost. Only then can it serve as a digital monster, a hacking program that is not to be trifled with. Unlike Scan, however, Convert is not part of the Digimon Capture application. The hackers finally devised the technique needed, but certain rules were put in place regarding how it is used. In order to control how this power is exercised. Your chosen Digimon program is still weak, but it will grow in power and digital. As you gain experience as a hacker, your program will become more powerful as well. Someday, immense power might be yours. When that day comes, responsibility will come along with it. Yada yada, insert the Spider Man line. <laughs> Hunters may be free spirits, but they must never succumb to chaos. Never that. I'm sure most of this went over your head, but tuck it away in a corner of your mind. How much did you tuck it away if it missed our head? <laughs> Aim a bit lower, dude. Besides, merely having Digimon Capture gives you hacker status. It's a special program, but. 
hacker's ability, values, and goals can be all seen in how they, well that hacker can use Digimon programs. Because protecting the Order of Eden is a hacker's first duty. I would be very happy if you would try to become that kind of hacker. After all, hackers have been with Eden since its inception. You want the Digimon right now? I see. You heard what I had to say and decided you want to become a proud hacker too. Excellent. <coughs> well then, follow the steps. Start here with the scan, have Digimon capture running, and target a... Well, so much for our starters, <laughs> they're going to die. Wait, how long have you been waiting here for someone to come through? Maybe he's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> あんな強力なデジモンが出現するとはね。程度の低いハッカーと悪ふざけた話だか。あるいは僕に敵対するものの仕業かもしれない。ん？追いかける。あの強力なデジモンが欲しいのか？ambitious little bastard. Again, just good music. <laughs> yeah, you've been vibing for a while. Probably again, why I say. If you have you you have a grind gaze, use your own music. Yeah. But when you do this story, use the game's music, for it really helps a lot with the mood. Okay. Shall we leave it there then? Probably best, but otherwise it will be dragging on for quite a while. This movie yeah. certainly won't be able to show the combat. Yeah, that's turn-based. Uh, this one, the status button, it's, yeah, the controls are a bit odd. You open up the menu with Y. Why they would do that, you have to ask them. Yeah, and also, I have, I have to say this, right? yes, I think people made a accidental joke over the character's t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, they put a bullseye on him. Yeah, <laughs> and you said, uh, if that went over your, his head, then you should aim a bit lower. Okay, but yeah, let's see. We had only two games left uh, prepared. Not that I expected to go that far, but it's better to be prepared than to not be. Okay, in order, Deep Sky Derelict. I'm, I'm definitely interested in playing that on my own at the very least. Um, we could maybe do streams of it, though I'm not sure if we do it as a main or side quest. Yeah, is it a, is a yes, maybe? It will need investigation before we put it on the stream list. Yeah, I, I think I'll just play it a while for myself, uh, get a bit of a feeling if there is much story or if it is mostly just go f go to ships, clear them out, and go to the next one. <clears throat> uh, Democracy 3, no. no. Desert Child, no. Desperados might need some work. But I would, I definitely want to do that one and Desperados 3 at some point as well. I, from all I've heard of Desperados 2, it is to be avoided at all costs. Okay. And Deus Ex, the Game of the Year edition. Uh, yeah, maybe if I can get it to work again, but otherwise, uh, I would definitely be up for streaming Deus Ex Invisible War. 
and the human revolution and the one after that as well yeah who, uh, human revolution is the only one i heard of humanity divided that's the last one there was supposed to be a third game in that but it never came out or it hasn't at the very least not likely to sadly they recover the square enix sold the company yeah oh and well digimon story cyber sleuth actually, they, yes actually, square enix sold all of their western companies because they wanted Pretty sure it was something involving NFTs and them thinking that the Western companies were stealing their money, even though they were literally making the money that they would, you know, need. Yeah, that Square Enix. Uh, right. I was trying to think of a, a, a shape joke, but I can't think of them. But they're they're going to look like idiots. They already looked like idiots. But at the very least, it's I think it's put... Uh, the Tomb Raider series back with Crystal Dynamics. So I'm curious to see what they'll do with that. <clears throat> and other games that have now been freed from their overlords. Like Square typically is known to be good. But if if the ones at the top are dumb enough to do that. Then a uh, yeah, abandoned ship. <laughs> and I don't uh, know Crystal Dynamics planning to make a new Legacy of Cain. That as well, yeah. Okay. For now, though, let's go look for someone to raid. But first off, we change the screen share. Oh, yeah. Over we, to Twitch. Uh, if you forgot to say if you were to stream Digimon. Uh, yeah, I I said a yes. We, we will oh. eventually get to that. Uh, there might just be a, a bigger gap between you know, streams with that. Where, for where I'll have to be, for where I'll have to be grinding to uh, get things up to a decent level. I'm likely going to over level a lot of stuff with that, but I'd say it's better than, well, running headfirst into a wall over and over again. Yeah, on the level. it's not a hard game. There are some tricky parts that will be smoother if you do over level. I, I think one thing is that it doesn't actually show you what level your opponents are. So you can't really tell if you're uh, over or under leveled until the moment they one hit kill you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, let's have a look at who's online. Not too many at the moment. We have Sour Rollers with Diablo 2 Resurrected. I'm Nice is streaming Monster Hunter World again. Grim the Wolf is streaming Yes, Your Grace. Okay. Uh, place is muted. Yes, let's take a peek because I don't know that one. It sounds like one of those Twitch games. Uh, okay, looks like a more of a town thing, maybe. Hmm. Or Kingdom Simulator or something. Kiri Natsuyoku. Hmm? Uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, Kiri Natsuyoku is streaming Tabletop Simulator. Okay. Uh, let's see. Anything about what they specifically are doing? Doesn't look like it. And I don't recognize um, this. I'm gonna call yeah. it. You guys have fun raiding whoever you're gonna raid later. Okay, Be safe, Rome, and thank you for joining. And rest up well. <clears throat> okay, and last but not least, we have Kenai, who is streaming Noita. Okay, been a okay. while since I've heard of that game. Yeah, that game, uh, that game looks maybe streamable for us. I say maybe. Uh, that's a, a big, big maybe. maybe. It, I, I think we said it at the same time there. <laughs> we are in sync. But yeah, I, I've played Noita, and it's a pretty hard game, actually. So I would be up for, for at the very least, showcasing it eventually, if I haven't already done so already. But uh, it's not an easy game. It's it is very it's very rogue like in some aspects, but so it could be fun with luck. So basically, perfect fit for you to uh, stream to see you turn mad. Maybe. <clears throat> <laughs> Either way, any of them, or shall we look at recommended? Uh, I see the recommended already here, and uh... there's a bunch of just chatting. Yeah. Uh, 
Is that a one how with a sniper scope? K how about K9? Okay. It's been a while we raided her. Just copy the name. Then we go over to our place. And we go slash raid, paste. And once I hit enter on that, we'll get us. We'll probably get a feeling of how many bots there actually are in chat because bots can't raid. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, for now, though, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later, uh, as always. And yeah, uh, yeah well, I'm getting my stuff in the wrong way. Uh, I am planning on doing an evening stream today after we are. <clears throat> Uh, after dinner, we are having barbecue today at our place today uh, because of Easter stuff and such. Uh, okay, uh, press X to doubt on that, Glacier boy. Uh, they, they are not a bot. D don't harm little Glacier boy. He's yeah, a they good are boy. like ice. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> oh, good God. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for being here, Glacierboy, and chatting along. Uh, same to Sentinside Tadpole. And I see someone who has been lurking. Hi there, Noon. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. Uh, evening stream, likely with guacamole, gu guacamole. Not guacamole. Guacamole. And uh, yeah, beyond that, thank you all again for uh, uh, forgetting one thing. Thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, until next time, be that later this evening or yeah, tomorrow. Uh, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And look out for... Hagudabons.